Welcome back. It's 935. Almost six and a half million Americans suffer from some form of heart failure. This year, 960,000 new patients will be diagnosed with it. Medication helps many people, but when it doesn't, their only option is a heart transplant. But now, a new device is sparking life into failing hearts. Here's Matt Williams. One in 20 adults has heart disease, and one person dies from that every 33 seconds. It's the leading cause of death for both men and women. When you have weak heart muscle, you can either die because of progressive heart muscle dysfunction or because of sudden death. Treatments include medication, stents, bypass surgery, and pacemakers. But now there's a new way to keep those hearts beating. Barostim, which is a novel approach. Used in combination with heart failure medication, cardiologist Richard Jantz implants this device just under the skin. It stimulates the carotid sinus, and it tends to modulate the adrenaline levels and the, and the vagal tone. Baroreceptors are responsible for telling the nervous system how to regulate heart, kidney, and vascular function. By activating proper regulation of these functions, the workload on the heart is reduced, helping it to pump more effectively. Improves your quality of life and your functional capacity, reduces your risk for hospitalization, but it also improves the likelihood that you would not require a heart transplant or a ventricular assist device. And it was the only thing that helped Eric Berkowitz. Now since I have the device, I can walk a two mile track uh, with him and not be panting. He pants more than I do. Barristim, helping Eric and Bobo keep on walking. Now the Barristim procedure is an outpatient procedure and it is FDA approved. Well now new studies are being done to implant the wires without any incisions. Pretty cool. Well, should you